Across borders, an Egyptian farm is preparing to build a large electrical instruments factory built at 92 billion investment at Dar es, Dar es Salaam. The farm will be building transformers, electric cables and meters for the local and export markets. Here are the details of these and others from across the African continent. Swedi industrial complex comprises several manufacturing facilities specializing in cables, wires, transformers, PVCs and meters along with logistics center built on a 4,800 square meter area. In the complex, solutions and equipment necessary for the 2025 industrialization strategy of Tanzania will be made, helping create more than 500 jobs for talented youths and technical engineers in the first phase alone. The complex includes a technical training academy to provide innovative technical education and vocational training programs with international standards to train and provide skills to aspiring employees and feed the growing labor market in the developing nation. Meanwhile, Trade Depot, a Nigerian-based e-commerce startup, quadrupled its valuation by drawing in new money as the company looks to expand its reach among small African retailers that generate an estimated $1 trillion in annual sales. The digital platform, which connects businesses using its network to distributors of consumer goods, raised $110 million in an equity and debt funding. Poor access to capital and fragmented distribution channels available to small shops in Africa have created an opening for Trade Depot to unlock financing. With over 100 suppliers and more than 100,000 stores on its platform, the company provides credit for retailers to access inventory with an option to pay back in installments as clients purchase the goods. Finally, the International Monetary Fund and Zambia have reached a staff level agreement on a $1.4 billion three-year extended credit facility, which could bring the heavily indebted country one step closer to a comprehensive debt overhaul. Zambia is one of the world's largest copper producers, and it became Africa's first pandemic-era sovereign defaulter last November, after years of excessive government borrowing drove its debt burden above 120% of GDP. Zambia currently has $16 billion in external debt alone.